Hi guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again with another product overview for you. And in this product overview, what we're going to be looking at is Model Mates No Effect Spray. Now you've heard of Model Mates before from my other product overviews. Uh, they produce a range of weathering solutions and sprays in all different colours and wonderful rust and verdigris effects. But this is their Snow Effect effect spray and this is slightly different to everything else because all their other products are more weathering and solutions that you can manipulate whereas this simply gets sprayed on goes down then gets sealed now the best way to sort of show you this is to very quickly well first off I can't show you on the help for hero stuff like I did with the ice build uh, ice tutorial because Danny's already just picked that up and you know so I was playing catch up and so I didn't have time to actually film it while I was doing that project so we're going to use this test piece okay and what I'm going to do is first off I'm going to show you very quickly how to put it down yeah and you know what it looks like and then after that what we'll do is we'll look at you know a couple of common problems with it and where you should use it and when you, where you shouldn't so obviously you've got your piece Give you can a good shake. Make sure you can hear that agitator. Okay, now the important thing is this comes out at a rate of knots. Now what I'll do is very quickly, I'll spray it just there so you can see. Yeah, really, really quick guys, okay? So, I'll just put that on top, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can see that what you've got to do is sort of use very little pressure and hold off a bit. Yeah, can you hear it sizzling? Okay, you can actually see the vapour, the carrier evaporating there and it'll slowly go a little bit whiter as... At the minute, yeah, it's the snow effects being carried with the propellant. And what we need, the, what we need to do is for the propellant to sort of work its way off, if you know what I mean, and sort of dry out. Yeah, and there you have it. Now let me bring it up very quickly so you can see the sort of effect. Yeah, and it really is really good. Now, very quick tip for this. One thing that I found works really well. So if we go over here. And sorry about the, the brush I'm using. It's just what I've got to hand. Yeah, it's actually coming down and just brushing it off the sides because it wouldn't stick to the sides like it does. Yeah. And if by brushing it down, you sort of clear the sides off, but you keep the snow at the top. Okay, and on the window ledges, and what happens is you get a collection of snow around the edges, which is a really nice effect. So if I bring that up, now if you look at the top bit, now look at it compared to this bottom bit here. Yeah, Do you see how simply just brushing it down really sort of makes it more realistic. Also, if you look here, it's almost like it's very even. Okay, it's almost like there's a, it's just been blasted with snow, which is which is essentially what we've just done. But by brushing it down, I've got this extra white line. Let me bring that in the middle. Sorry, guys. I've got this extra white line that sort of runs around the edge here. Okay, and that, that's more realistic. You've got the clumping on the watch got on the windowsills compared to a sort of an average amount there. Now, Modern Mate Snow is absolutely brilliant at covering large areas with dustings of snow. Where it starts to fall down is when you're trying to use it to create heaps of snow. So, for example, if I go for, shall we say there? Yeah, very quickly. Now, look at that. Let me just make sure you can focus in on that. Yeah. See how it's raised and everything? It looks beautiful. It looks perfect to be perfectly honest it's very realistic the problem is that because the snow is the best way to describe it is it's very light and fluffy that any pressure yeah and it just simply goes down now model mate snow never hardens okay so it doesn't matter how long i left this this would never harden and i would always have this problem and obviously yeah from our point of view you know, we're going to be putting models on terrain and stuff like that. So we don't want things that can break off. You know, that's never going to harden. Now with the dusting element, that's perfectly fine. Because when we dust it, yeah, what we can do is we can come in, we can use something like 
Yeah. Uh, soluble varnish. Yeah, an acrylic varnish. Yeah, put it through an airbrush or get some acrylic sprays. And when it's a dusting, you can see all that. And that's what I did with Watch Clip with the Help for Heroes build. I just used it as a dusting way of just blending the walls down, getting that snow effects on everything, and taking it from there. So what you need to remember with this stuff is if you want to do sort of dunes, not dunes, snow banks, then what you need to be looking at is building the snow bank out of foam or uh, modelling putty, filler, whatever. Yeah, covering it in white acrylic and then give it a dusting of this. You'll still get the same effect as that, okay, but it'll have the support, it won't collapse. Now with regards to this stuff, once this has been sealed, there's, it's solid, it's not going to come off, okay? So, overall, absolutely brilliant for working with, what you call it, large areas of terrain, terrain boards. You could do a cityscape in a couple of cans with a light dusting, go in afterwards with a brush, you know, brush down your edges, okay? And then simply go in with either a couple of cans of uh, acrylic varnish spray, or better would be an airbrush, you know, and just... Brush it through, seal it all off, okay, and then you know you've got what is an absolutely awesome look. So guys, just let me tot it up a bit, eh? There you go, guys. Model mate snow. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, but you need to use it right. Right, that's it for this one. Uh, hopefully coming up you should see the overview video of the uh, all the Health Heroes build. And that's it for Snow for, for the time being. No doubt we'll be coming back to it in the future. In the meantime, guys, yeah, obviously like it if you like it. If you're new to the channel, yeah, subscribe, yeah, follow along if you're into, ter into terrain and tutorials like that. And obviously all the new subscribers, you know, I'm really pleased you've jumped on board. Make sure you say hi in the comments, guys, yeah. And also, check the comments out. There'll be loads of good information in there. And if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Or if you just want to say hi, say hi in the comments. I'll reply to all my comments, guys. So I'll catch you in the comments, guys. All the best. Ta-da.